Hey guys, this is Coach Dan from Cena. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of workouts that you can do at home while we are all in quarantine. Today we're going to start off with bladder knee tucks with a superset with tuck jumps. So what you're going to do is grab two towels, place your feet on those towels. You're going to be in a plank position and you're just going to glide and tuck. We're going to be doing these for a set of eight. And then tuck jump. Next up, what you want to grab is a little stool where we could step up. We're going to do four sets of eight each leg. Step up into an A skip. What you want to do is have your toe out. And then breathe out every single time your knee comes up. We're going to be supersetting that with glute bridges. What you want to do is lay on your back, keep your feet right under your hamstrings, and then lift your hips up. We're going to be doing this for four sets of ten. We're going to be supersetting lunge jumps with bicycle kicks. We're going to do 10 each leg. Make sure you're getting the depth. What we're going to do is grab anything. You're going to be sitting in a V position with your feet out and up. We're just going to put these under our legs as we're kicking back and forth. We're going to do 10 each side. All right, thank you for coming today. Hope you got a good workout, happy quarantine. Hope everybody stays safe out there. Remember, stay at home. As you see, our first exercise is a front squat, which reduces compression of the spine. Coach Cole's using a backpack. As you see, his shoulder scaps are back. As he squats, you see his upper body does not move from that scap back position. When he comes up, he is focusing on the hip hinge and does not break plane at his knees. The overhead seated press. Uh, your elbows need to be locked behind your ears. This exercise focuses on gluten and hamstring movement. This exercise is also a great test uh, for hip mobility. Hamstring curls. You want to have your hips off the ground the whole time. This is a tempo exercise, meaning three, two, one, up, down, three, two, one, and back up without breaking knee plane. Make sure we dorsiflex our toes, which means trying to point them at your knees. Elevated glute bridges. This is a posterior development workout where we focus on hip extensions, hip flexors, and hamstring. You can different variations, either single-legged or uh, double-legged for this exercise lunges in the front lunge you see here coach cole emphasizing the step his scaps are back his toes are up in an a skip to b skip motion just like we are running the back lunge is focusing on hip extension and hip mobility stability step up 
see Coach Cole. His scaps are back. His toes are up as he conducts an ace skip. Coach Cole has a pillow on a chair to help create the feel of a stability pad. Lateral walks is a movement exercise to help improve hip, foot, ankle, and knee joint stability. Jump rope, no rope. This is a muscle activation exercise where you jump on the balls of your feet to help increase cadence and heart rate. Lateral line hops help condition muscles around the ankle for stability, making quick lateral direction changes. Tuck jumps is an explosive exercise that works the core in the lower body to gain more vertical power. Quarter squat jump is another explosive exercise that help increase your vertical jump and vertical displacement. Lunge jumps is a plyometric jump to help create more power in the first step explosion, working your hamstrings, quads, glutes, hip flexors, and calves. Lateral bounds increase knee and ankle stability. The knee does not go over the toes and it helps increase athleticism. Knee to feet jumps is a great exercise to help develop explosive lower body tendencies.